because there is no secondhand smoke and there's no obvious risk to others from vaping, it makes no sense at all to ban vaping or to include vaping in bans on smoking in public places. And quite sensibly in this country, we don't do that. We haven't made vaping subject to the same laws as there are against smoking in pubs, restaurants, and so on and so forth. There is some issue, I suppose it's more about etiquette. You know, would one want to be sitting in a restaurant where somebody beside you is using an e-cigarette which has a strong flavour? Well, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm not an e-cigarette user, I'm not a smoker, but there's a politeness aspect to it. There's also a very practical aspect to this, because if we ban e-cigarettes in public places, we're sort of saying to e-cigarette users, well, you know, you're just the same as smokers. Go outside, into the rain, with all those smokers outside. That's not a very good message. We need to send out the message that vaping is different from smoking. So, to my mind, it makes no sense at all to, to ban vaping in public places. We need a good bit of sense, you know, a bit of politeness. In an office, you know, if there are some who want to vape and others don't really like that, well, you know, people can just go to another corner or, or to, to, to another room out of respect for others. Just as I wouldn't necessarily want to sit next to somebody in our office who's eating fish and chips because I don't like the smell of the, the chips and the vinegar. But, you know, these things can be handled in a reasonable manner. You don't need the state, you don't need laws to tell people how to do this.